हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल आई होप यू आर हेल्दी एंड सेफ एट योर होम द टॉपिक फॉर टूडेज वीडियो इज द क्लासिक फिज बस प्रॉब्लम विच इज़ द मोस्ट कॉमन इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट फर्स्ट फॉर अ गिवन नंबर एन वी वॉन्ट टू प्रिंट ऑल द नंबर्स फ्रॉम वन टू एन नाउ फॉर द नंबर बिटवीन वन टू एन विच आर मल्टीपल ऑफ थ्री वी वॉन्ट टू प्रिंट फिज instead of the number for number which are multiple of 5 we want to print buzz instead of the number and for numbers which are multiple of both 3 and 5 we want to print fizz buzz for all the other numbers we want to print the number as it is now this is one of those problems where we will be using the classic for loop we can do a one liner but since it is a simple problem the one liner might seem a bit complicating a simple solution so we would be going with the classic for loop Now let's start with defining the fizz buzz function first, and we will pass the n that is the number as an argument to it. Now we will be achieving the solution to this problem by following four steps. The step one would be checking if the number is divisible by three and five. Step two would be checking if the number is divisible by five. Step three would be checking if the number is divisible by three, and our last step would be for the numbers which are neither divisible by three nor five. So we will be printing them as it is. So we will start by defining a classic for loop, and we will take a variable i which would be running from one to n, and we will be incrementing the i. And based on each value of i, we will be checking the values either it is divisible by three, five, or so on. If the number is divisible by three and five, then we will be printing a fizz buzz to the console. Now, if the number i doesn't fall in this category, then we will be writing a else if statement here, and we will check if the number i is divisible by five. so then we'll be printing buzz to the console now here as you would have noticed that we are using a modulo operator which is a special kind of operator so it checks for the remainder if a number is completely divisible by some other number then the remainder would be zero so we are checking if i modulo 3 is equal to equal to 0 that is if the remainder is zero it means that the number is fully divisible by 3 so that that is our main operator which we are using here now for step 3 again we will check a else if statement if the number i is divisible by 3 then we will be printing a fizz to the console lastly for all the numbers which are neither divisible by 3 5 or both 3 and 5 we will be printing the number as it is So in the else part we will directly write console log of i So that's it that's our simple solution to the classic fizz buzz problem Now in order to check our results in the console we'll call the function fizz buzz with a integer value expected output which we are expecting to be printed on console should be 1 2 and instead of 3 we would be getting a fizz 4 and instead of 5 we would be getting a buzz so let's take till 15 because uh, till 1 to 10 we won't be getting any number which is divisible by both 3 and 5 so we'll change our input to 15 Now let's fire up our terminal and see if we are getting the expected result. We'll simply write node and the file name to get our results. Now let's copy this output from the console and print it beside our expected results so that it's easier to compare. Now 
Now let's compare both the results. As you can see, both the results are matching. So here somehow I missed the 9 and 10. But instead of 9, we would be having a fizz and for 10, we would be having a buzz. So our output is correct. So that's one way of solving the classic fizz buzz problem. You can solve this with your own method, but I think this is the simplest and easiest way to do it. So that's it for today's video. I hope this concept might help you further in your upcoming interviews. For more such videos and problem solving statements on JavaScript, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.